From Nebraska's trusted news source, this is Channel 8 News at 5. Coming up tonight, we check in with the city to see how our snow fighters and their plows are faring against this winter storm. Plus, many kids are enjoying a snow day today. Why not, right? We're going to show you some of the fun they are having. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Quite the snowstorm that moved through Lincoln. That's right, dumping more snow on Lincoln in one day than we've seen in two years. Let's go to Chief Meteorologist Rusty Dawkins and see some totals there. Rusty? Yeah, an overachieving snowstorm, which is fine by me. Uh, we desperately needed the moisture. I know there's a lot of you out there that agree uh, that any kind of moisture, whether it comes more than we thought, that's just fine. And here's what it looks like. We had a big swath of four to eight inches from uh, the extreme southwestern corner of the state through south central Nebraska and up to Lincoln. There were some pockets of 10 to 11 to almost 12 inches of snowfall uh, just in south central Nebraska and in and around the Lincoln area. And in Lincoln, Right around Lincoln, in and around Lincoln, had some of the higher snowfall totals, uh, and then you did not have to go far. Look, uh, you just go a little further to the north, and you're at one to two to next to nothing as soon as you get just north of Columbus there. So just an incredible uh, swath of very narrow snowfall. We'll have more specific snowfall totals coming up in Maine weather, but uh, first outside right now, uh, you can see there's plenty of sunshine, some melting going on, uh, but a lot of snow. Uh, Beatrice had anywhere from six and a half to seven and a half inches of snow. Temperatures are on the chilly side. Sure, 25 degrees in Beatrice, 24 in Nebraska City. Uh, still at the freezing mark in Grand Island, 32 degrees, but just about everybody in the 20s and 30s. A little bit of a light wind out of the west and northwest at 5 to 10 or 15 miles per hour. Temperatures are going to get cold tonight. I think we'll drop to around 5 or 6 degrees by early tomorrow morning and that wind chill will also dive down to around zero, maybe even a couple of degrees below zero early tomorrow morning. So we're going to take a closer look had some snowfall totals and how close we were to an all time record high snowfall total mm -hmm. in a few minutes. All right, thank you, Rusty. Let's uh, take a look at viewer photos of all the snowy weather. Uh, first up, we have Bessie the dog enjoying her first snow. This is from Sheila Benek, and uh, this is Davy, Nebraska. You can see the snow on the diving board. This picture sent in from Jesse McGuire. And lots of kids having fun today. This is at Mahoney State Park. Picture from Alyssa Kelly. And lots of cute photos of dogs, too, which we love. This is Aspen, the go golden doodle. Thank you, Tanya Dorn from South Lincoln for sending that in. We'll have more pictures for you from our viewers tonight at 6 o'clock. And we want to thank you all for sending in pictures. We appreciate them so much. We'd love to see some more. You can submit them on our website at klknTV.com. Just click on the weather tab. And here's a live look at the Nebraska 511 map. Most of the state is green, meaning normal. But in southeast Nebraska, as you can see, it's a different story. In Lincoln, York, and most towns south of the capital city, uh, they're pink. That means completely covered. Uh, the blue there in the Seward area and around Beatrice means only partially covered. And you can see a little bit of dark purple toward Kearney and David City. That means the roads are just wet. Well, that uh, snow is definitely not the easiest or safest to drive on, of course, mm -hmm. especially when it gets uh, packed down or when it freezes. Lincoln Transportation and Utilities gave an update this afternoon on the road conditions here in the city. Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson joins us live with the latest on that. Mackenzie? Yeah, that's right, Rod and Megan. I'm here out at, out at uh, Capitol Parkway and 27th Street. As Rusty said earlier, the sun is shining. It's melting some of the snow off the roadways. And right now, traffic is still moving pretty regularly. Just a couple hours ago, we were able to talk with Lincoln Transportation and Utilities on their plans for the, win for the evening hours. Maintenance Operations Director Tim Burns says they have over 120 units out in the city right now, including private contractors. Their main priorities are the streets that see the most traffic, but they're working on clearing other areas as well. Last night, they pre-treated the roads with a brine and salt mixture. They'll have crews continuing to clear roads and monitor them overnight so they don't freeze. We're out there plowing in teams today. Sun has popped out. We'll always take a little help when Mother Nature provides it. That's helping to loosen up some material. We're going to keep removing that throughout the evening. And crews will be on duty overnight. We will have material spreaders out on route, so we'll be putting down material as needed to help reduce those refreezing concerns. Byrne wanted to remind everyone on the roads to go slow. There are still some areas with snow that's packed down. 
and if you are driving out there, give yourself plenty of space so you have time to slow down. And if you're driving behind a snowplow, make sure you give them plenty of space so that they can get their job done more quickly. We'll keep you updated on these road conditions more tonight at 6 and 10. Reporting at Capitol Parkway and 27th Street, I'm Mackenzie Johnson, Channel 8 News. Mackenzie, thank you very much for that live report. And Lincoln Transportations and Transportation and Utilities is declaring a snow emergency, so crews are working to keep our streets as clear as possible. Channel 8's uh, Veronica Barreto joins us live now with more on snowplow operations. Veronica. That's right, Megan and Rod. I'm here on South 26th Street. And as you can see behind me, this is a residential street that's still covered in some snow. Crews are still out there trying to clear out some streets, but they haven't been able to make it to many residential areas. That is why officials are asking people to be as cautious as possible. LTU crews started yesterday treating streets, but had to change plans as the snowstorm blasted our area. Workers say the wind was making their job a bit difficult. As more snow was falling and because of the wind, they had to plow some streets over and over again. Well, we're trying to do the best we can to make sure that the streets are cleaned up before everybody has to go to work or come home or take their kids to school and just trying to make it safe for the city. LTU is asking everyone to do their part in helping to clear the roads. They're asking drivers to give their machineries as much space as possible. And the city declared a snow emergency parking ban on residential streets. They're asking people to move their cars to the odd sides of the streets. Reporting in Lincoln, Veronica Barreto, Channel 8 News. All right, Veronica, thank you for that live update. And uh, because of slick roads this morning, a driver ended up crashing into a creek. It happened near 134th and O Streets. Officials say a 76-year-old man from Eagle was trapped after he flipped his vehicle into a creek. The man spent about 20 minutes in the water before he was able to get himself out of the car. He was then taken to a local hospital where he's being treated for hypothermia and a back injury. And the winter weather basically shutting down all of the school districts in our area. That's right. Lincoln Public Schools canceled classes around 515 this morning. LPS is also reminding parents there will be no school for elementary kids tomorrow. Again, just for elementary kids because it's a teacher planning day. There are also no classes on Monday and Tuesday for all LPS schools. And UNL is also closed today due to the weather. All in-person classes and academic events are canceled. All offices and clinics are also closed. UNL is asking students to check their email or Canvas for any new announcements or plans. And with schools closed and the snow piling up, kids all over Lincoln were out enjoying the weather today. Channel 8's Mit Matthew Mitleider continues our team coverage of the storm. He went out to see what sledders were up to. Matthew? <laughs> The snow may have come down hard this morning, but that didn't stop these kids from enjoying their snow day. I'm at Pioneers Park where at least a hundred people, both kids and adults, have been out here sledding all day today. I spoke with some kids who said it's their first time at Pioneers Park and they're excited to come out and try the built-in ramp here. Lincoln residents say it's been a long time since they've had snow like this, so they're making the most of it. I love it. It's a super nice. Day I know out. we wanted to go <laughs> snowboarding, but the the resort's closed, so we just decided yeah, to go sledding best. instead. Yeah, yeah. It's still pretty fun. Yeah. I'm really lucky, and I'm glad that Nebraska weather finally came through. Um, I woke up and I still didn't even know. Usually they tell us the night before, but today I was lucky and they were able to tell us right in the morning that school is off. Sledders said the ramps at the park made it a lot easier to get some speed, but they had to pack some snow down on them first to really get them working. Right now the snow has stopped falling, but there's plenty of it to go around if you still want to get out and have some fun. I'll have more on this story tonight at 6. All right, Matthew Mitleider reporting live for us at Pioneers Park. Thank you, Matthew. Uh, have you been out there? 
doing that? No, I haven't, but I've always wanted to. A lot of fun. Okay, we have some new details now on a house fire we first brought you yesterday. A Lincoln apartment fire near 17th and A Streets could leave several residents without a home for a while. The fire started in a lower floor apartment and spread to a deck on the floor above. No one was hurt and two cats were rescued. Officials today tell us the cause was electrical and caused about $80,000 in damage. Now to crime news out of Grand Island. A man is facing several charges for running from police and hiding in a stranger's home. That's right. Police say John Chamberlain was pulled over for driving without his lights. Well, after that was taken care of and he was leaving, they say he almost hit a person and a patrol vehicle. Well, they went after him again and when he was stopped, police say he ran inside another person's home. He was eventually taken into custody. Nebraska may be covered in snow today, but wildfire season is quickly approaching. 2022 was our state's second worst year for wildfires. And a proposal at the Capitol would make sure we're ready for the worst. Senator Mike McDonnell introduced LB 655. It's looking to establish two statewide fire response teams that would support local fire departments during wildfires and prescribed burns. The measure would do so by providing funds to the Nebraska State Fire Marshal Agency and acquiring a community wildfire defense grant. Still to come on the news tonight, President Biden is addressing the multiple flying objects that have been shot down recently by the U.S. Well, that story and your full forecast right after the break. Don't go away. Those who...
Now to Washington, where President Biden is making formal remarks on those flying objects recently shot down by the U.S. Congressional leaders have been calling for him to, re to provide more details about the objects to the American people. Now we're hearing cockpit audio verified by the Air Force of F-16 fighter pilots tracking down the latest high-flying object. The size of it is just so slow and so small and can't see it. That was before shooting it down with a missile over Lake Huron, Michigan last Sunday. Uh, that takedown following another over Canada's uh, Yukon Territory the day before and one more off the Alaskan coast the day before that. I want to be clear. We don't have any evidence that there has been a sudden increase in the number of objects in the sky. We're now just seeing more of them partially because the steps we've taken to increase our radar. We don't yet know exactly what these three objects were, but nothing, nothing right now suggests they were related to China's spy balloon program or that they were surveillance vehicles from other, any other country. In recent days, search crews say they have recovered critical fragments of the spy balloon, but extreme conditions are hindering efforts to recover debris from those other three objects. The head of the EPA visited Eastern Ohio today, nearly two weeks after a train derailment released potentially toxic chemicals in East Palestine. One after another, residents voiced their frustration, some reporting sore throats, burning eyes, and other symptoms, after a train carrying one million pounds of vinyl chloride burned for days. As leaders try to reassure residents the area is safe, concerns remain as to the water safety. Officials say contaminants from derailed cars spilled into some waterways and were toxic to about 3,500 fish. I'm told that they do not have anything set up a protocol yet for uh, testing for the cause of these symptoms. There is a considerable amount of runoff from the incident itself into two creeks that run through the town. I want to see what are they testing for, how are they testing it, what are they looking for, what are they finding. Norfolk Southern announced a $1 million fund to help over, impa over 700 impacted families. Still, Ohio's Attorney General says it's considering legal action against the rail operator. Many residents looking at legal action as well. Now, your Storm Alert team forecast with Chief Meteorologist Rusty Dawkins. Uh, looking at the snowfall reports uh, from today, and this started uh, late last night, but most of the snow fell in a pretty short amount of time. It was pretty significant and fascinating to, uh, to watch, but uh, these are significant totals. Three miles east of Lincoln had 11 inches, 10 and a half uh, just southeast of Lincoln, 10, in, uh, 10 inches, four miles south. Notice all of these are near in and around Lincoln, 10 to 11 inches of snow, then nine inches in Denton, uh, Roca and Bennett. So a uh, significant snowfall there. And then at the Lincoln Airport, officially 8.8 .8 inches of snow. So a little bit less in the northwestern side of town. Uh, I, I'm on the southeastern side of town and I had about nine inches. Seven and a half in Beatrice, Auburn at 6.8, uh, and then six and a half in Creek Clay Center, as well as Hastings. So here are the records. One day record snowfall. 19 inches is the record high. 14 and a half was just a couple of years ago. Uh, and then 13.2 was that October snowstorm. And then you just kind of dwindle down from there and you get down to 10th place, which is 9.7. So we didn't quite crack the top 10, but boy, were we close, really close. So uh, that'll go down. That's a top 20, even a top 15 snowfall. <laughs> it's just incredible. Uh, here's a picture from Kelly and Lincoln. You can see all that snow piled up. We have a lot of pictures like that. If you want to hit pause and and break out your phone and do that whole QR code thing. There you go. That'll take you right to the website that has all of the snowfall uh, pictures that everybody's been sending in. You can uh, submit your own snowfall total too, just by doing that whole QR code thing. Handy. Uh, 84th and O Street, look at all that fresh snow out there. I bet uh, this guy's building that. Uh, probably didn't want to see all that snow all at once, but there it is. And a lot of blue sky and Clear skies, a lot of snow on the ground, uh, and we are going to see temperatures that are going to plummet tonight. 24 degrees right now at Southeast Community College. Not bad East Campus at 27 and 25 at the airport. Yankee Hill Road is uh, one of the warmer spots at 28 degrees. We are seeing a lot of 20s out there. Uh, 22 in Omaha, one of the cooler spots. Middle 20s, still some 30s though. Grand Island, Kearney at 32 and 34 degrees. A light wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Satellite is very quiet. Uh, all of that, uh, Cloud cover and snowfall is pushed off to the east. So now wall to wall to 
the wall to wall sunshine. Now we could see a little bit of cloud cover filter back in a little bit of melting going on out there today after that snowfall uh, in sunspots. So some low clouds by early tomorrow morning, but then that clears out fairly quickly and I think by noon we'll see plenty of sunshine, maybe even by as early as nine or 10 o'clock in the morning. And that's it as we head through the second half of the day and into the weekend. We're looking at mostly sunny skies, so a cold night tonight. We're looking at temperatures that will be right around five, six degrees, uh, maybe some double digits just off to the west, but a cold start uh, for your Friday with a light north breeze at five to ten. Clear, cold, five. Now, it's been a while since we've been that cold too with that north wind at five to ten. I don't think the wind chill will be much of an issue. Cold for the day when you start off cold, it's hard to warm up, but I think where it didn't snow quite as much, you might see some 40s just uh, on the other side of Columbus and Grand Island. 36 degrees, low clouds early, then becoming sunny with a little bit of a southwest breeze. And then we start to warm up 42 on Saturday, 46 on Sunday, President's Day at 50. And uh, then we cool off a little bit. The next chance for snow comes our way Tuesday into Wednesday. So kind of uh, not a real active pattern setting up, but snow today, uh, earlier today, and then another chance on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Uh, and you know, February is one of those months where you can see snow over and over again. It's one of our snowier months, so this is not surprising. Uh, and then temperatures cool off by the middle and end of next week. But goodness, uh, that, and you know, you know what my favorite part of the day was? My uh, my Twitter feed was filled with people sending me videos of uh, dogs playing in the snow. That was just absolutely yeah, fantastic. That's always fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Rusty. Uh, real quickly here, we do want to make a correction on something that was said earlier in our newscast. Uh, we want to make sure you know that residential parking ban that's in effect means do not park on the odd side of the streets here in Lincoln. You're urged to park on the even side. So once again, just reiterating, do not park on the odd side, park on the even side. Just want to make sure you knew that. A negative day on Wall Street today, the Dow falling 431 points, NASDAQ is also down 214, S&P losing 57 points. Here are your numbers, you're watching Channel 8, Nebraska's trusted news source. Tonight.
Carter had some fun sledding himself. In fact, he found the roles were reversed as a fellow sledder interviewed him. All right, everyone, Matthew's going to be hitting the slopes today. He's going to be taking this big toboggan. He's going to be running over kids. It's going to be a great time. <laughs> All right, full send. Let's go, Matthew! Woo! ABC News! <laughs> he saw it here first. He saw it here first. I th she's pretty good. Maybe yeah. we could, uh, you know, have another person on our staff here. Hey, do you need a job? Yeah, and as like we mentioned <laughs> earlier, Matthew will have more on all of the sledding fun coming up on the news at six, which I, uh, you know, I think it's great because in a world now it seems like bad news, sad news all the time. Mm -hmm. We get a chance to actually have some fun out there with kids. Go for it, right? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Rusty, let's get one final check of the weather from you tonight. I think my son went sledding today, too. He was talking about it before I left for work. So I'll, I'll, when I get home for dinner, I'll see, I'll see if I can get some video, if he got video of himself sledding. But, uh, oh, it's gorgeous out there now. A little on the cold side, fresh pack of snow on the ground. This is Penner Bathing Solutions, Cameron Aurora. The flags at least aren't uh, going wild right now. So uh, the wind is low, the, the sun is bright, and just a new fresh pack of snow on the ground. So 25 degrees in Lincoln, 23 in Beatrice, 28 in Columbus. Uh, also in Aurora, 25 in York and 27 in Norfolk. Barely a cloud in the sky. Just uh, it looks, it's one of those chilly February days where there's a ton of blue sky, a uh, fresh pack of snow, and temperatures a little colder than they're supposed to be. But 36 degrees for a high on Friday, a little below average, so we'll call that chilly sunshine. Near normal on Saturday, 42 and 46, a little warmer as we get into Sunday. But uh, it's going to take a while before we can really warm up. we got to get uh, rid of uh, 10 to 12 inches of snow on the ground. So we'll start off cold, 5 degrees to start your Friday. Thank you, Rusty, and thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful evening. We'll see you right back here at 6 o'clock. With the Channel 8 News mobile app, you'll be the first to know. Get alerts about breaking news and weather, all in the palm of your hand. Amigo Seafood is back with crisp crab rangoon and new crisp lobster roll burritos, fish and shrimp tacos, and butterfly shrimp baskets, too. It's seafood season at Amigos. Closed captioning on Channel 8 Eyewitness News is brought to you by Kristen 